So far we learn a lot about the behavior of the graph of a polynomial function. We combine here all the information to sketch it. Our focus will be on polynomial functions that are factored completely. If a polynomial function is not factored completely, we use techniques we discussed in the lesson 8 to do so first. To sketch the graph of a polynomial function, we would need to determine the zeros of that function and their multiplicities to know how the graph behaves in near its x-intercepts. We also need to determine the end behavior of our function to know how to start and how to end the graph. So let's start with finding the zeros and their multiplicities. The um, function f is already in factored form and we'll recall that if x minus c is a factor of the polynomial that uh, c is the zero. So let's list the factors that contain x. The factors are x minus 1, x minus 1 squared, and x plus 2 cubed. x minus 1 factor produces 0, 1. The power of x minus 1 is 2, so the multiplicity is 2. We know that if the 0 has multiplicity 2, then the graph will touch the x-axis. Now the second factor produces 0, negative 2, and because exponent is 3, the multiplicity is 3. And if the multiplicity of 0 is 3, the graph will cross the x-axis as cube function. So we know now how the function uh, behaves near its zeros. So let's look now at end behavior of that function. Because our polynomial is already written in a factored form with each coefficient, leading coefficient of each factor equal 1, then the leading coefficient is the coefficient in front of all those x um, factors, and therefore that leading coefficient is 2. Now, as for the degree, we'll list each coefficient, each, each factor, and we'll determine the degree of each factor, and then we'll determine the total degree of, the, um, of this polynomial. So, degree of the factor 2 is 0, degree of x minus 1 squared is 2, and degree of x plus 2 cubed is 3. So the total degree is 0 plus 2 plus 3, which is 5. And therefore, using the information that the leading coefficient is 2 and the degree is 5, we can write uh, the power function that f of x behaves like uh, for uh, large values of absolute value. That's going to be 2, x to the fifth. The function 2x to the fifth behaves like the cube function because the exponent is odd and the uh, coefficient is positive. So this is how the graph of the function 2x to the fifth would look like. And therefore, the polynomial function f of x will start from the bottom and will go up, and the graph will end by going up. Now we use the information obtained in part 1 and 2 to sketch the graph of the polynomial function f of x. The x-intercepts are negative 2 and 1. We know that we'll start the graph going from the bottom up, so we'll start the graph going up. Now the graph of the polynomial function is a continuous curve, so there are no gaps. So if I start my graph in this part, I have to arrive to the first x-intercept, which is negative 2. And if I go to negative 2, I know that the graph here will cross the x-axis like a cube function and go up. Now, 
the function eventually has to come back to the second uh, x-intercept, which is 1. So the function will go somewhere up and then it will have to turn around to come back to the uh, intercept 1. But the function at 1 touches the x-axis only, so it will come to 1, 0 and then bounce off. And we know that we have to finish the function by going up. And this is how the graph of that function will look like.